cover salads and dressings and dips. We're actually going to cover the salads and dressing portion in second semester when we also cover vegetables, because I think those two things go very well together. So dips are one of my uh, favorite things in the, uh, in the world. Um, we're kind of at the end of semester one, so we're going to kind of dip in and then dip out of this chapter. Um, when it comes to dips, uh, dips can be hot, they can be cold, they can be savory, uh, or they could be sweet. So uh, the first one I want to cover, a lot of people are very familiar with your hot dips. So you may see these on um, menus, you may maybe you make these at home. I am a huge fan of dips. So buffalo chicken dip is one of my favorite, uh, my favorite to make. There's also queso, uh, queso dip, and there are a lot of variations and different ways to make a queso dip. Spinach and artichoke dip as well. Uh, there are a lot of variations for it. Spin dip can be both hot or cold. Uh, you can also see some seafood added like hot crab dip or shrimp. Uh, black bean dip or vegetarian options. Uh, baba ganoush is also a hot dip. Um, there are international dips, so dips are actually popular all around the world. So essentially anything that is a product in which you can dip uh, chips or bread or croutons or toast points, there's a lot of different varieties of things you can dip into uh, a dip as well. When you start looking at recipes, there are a thousand recipes. My advice is to uh, find a good website. I actually put a couple here. So all recipes, food and wine have a lot of different articles and those articles are linked together. So if you click on a Super Bowl dip article at the bottom, you'll see a lot of different articles that also include all of their recipes, which are pretty cool. Um, and so here's a couple of different ones. Um, Super Bowl time, holiday time, around Christmas time. That's a really popular Thanksgiving. Those are really popular times to find different dips. So a hot dip uh, could be cheese-based. Cream cheese base is really common as well. And typically they are served warm or hot. Uh, when it comes to the cold dips, so a cold dip is typically like a sour cream or mayonnaise based, but these can also be beans or tomatoes. They can be chunky, uh, such as a variety of salsas or chutneys. They can be smooth like uh, guacamole, uh, ranch dips that you maybe would dip vegetables in, vegetables or chips or bread items. They could be sweet. Caramel can be both hot or cold for dipping fruit. Hummus is really popular. A lot of people are, are now familiar with hummus. Hummus is more of a kind of a Greek Mediterranean dip made out of chickpeas. I'm not a big fan. My husband uh, likes it a lot. He gets the roasted garlic or the red pepper. I don't really care for it uh, personally. So there are also dips just completely all around the world. Uh, there are Indian ones. There are Mediterranean ones. Uh, tzatziki is a Greek thing. It kind of has a dill and cucumber. It's really good. You'll see that often offered on a sandwich. So you don't necessarily just have to use dips for dipping uh, bread or chips in or as a snack or appetizer. You can also spread any of these dips um, serve them on a, on a meal or spread them on a sandwich. Uh, pesto or sun-dried tomato is also commonly spread on pizza as a pizza base. Uh, Szechuan sauce, guacamole. Um, there are sweet salsas like pineapple or mango salsas. Salsa verde, uh, a green salsa, is also pretty common. I love salsa verde on my tacos. A uh, hot ricotta cheese spread has, uh, you can have kind of an Italian flair. Um, there are also tahini. Tahini is like a sesame. It kind of has a peanutty kind of taste to it, which is good. So dips are not just uh, found on American menus. They're also found all around. So when we talk about dip bases, hot or cold, cream cheese is probably one of the most common. There are other cheeses like cream cheese. So uh, ricotta, soft cheddar, American. Um, there's also Newfoundland, not Newfoundland. Um, I forgot the name of the lighter version of cream cheese. It's escaped my, my mind right now. Um, and these can be hot or cold. Mayonnaise is very rich in flavor. Um, it's also really high fat. Sour cream or yogurt will make can make a lower fat dip. Uh, they're a little softer and smoother in flavor. Beans, you can use any variety of beans. So kidney beans, navy beans, fava, pinto, lima, black, 
red bean, chickpeas, lentils. These all make really good dips. Uh, you can also take things like a pepper and roast it and puree it and make like a nice roasted vegetable dip, which is really good as well. Um, you can also dip vegetables in them. Um, there are also sweet dip recipes. So sweet dips could be caramel, honey mustard, dressings, jellies, puddings, chocolates, marshmallow cream base, whipped cream base. Uh, you could use uh, cookies or uh, graham crackers. I see, I see people sometimes use a waffle cone or sugar cone, uh, and you can dip those on the side as well. Uh, you can go here. This is a pretty cool lesson when it comes to um, making pretzels with different dips like beer cheese dip or roasted jalapeno mustard dip. Uh, here are, here's a cold dips Pinterest link uh, that's in this PowerPoint as well. So the, when it comes to doing dips, they're very popular on menus. A lot of people have gotten into going out to eat and maybe getting several dips or tapas, which we'll cover when we do appetizers and kind of sharing them around the table. Uh, it's definitely a great thing that you want to put on your, um, if you are doing a menu, you definitely want to put some dips on that menu and there's the variety is endless. So we're going to do a couple of labs and uh, learn a little bit more about dips.